Usually what you're going to need is really um, one key sponsor, if you can find that one key sponsor. Very few people are going to come out outright and say no. But in my experience, when I, um, when I first went into the CEO role at the uh, Transurban, we had to change the business model. This was fundamental. We were borrowing money to pay dividends, highly geared, and this was in 2008. And my view was that the market was not going to sustain a model that was just borrowing money to pay it straight out the door in dividends. Big money is. So I, I took a, a proposal. The whole, whole Torad industry was up in arms about this. So it was, uh, you know, it had been a function of uh, one of the particular banks that developed the model. And we were challenging a lot of paradigms. I was getting calls from uh, investors. I was getting calls from promoters. I was getting calls from all sorts of people talking about destroying value and the like. One of the directors actually came up with three pages of reasons why it wasn't necessary. Uh, but I had to have the courage of my convictions. Plan B was totally unacceptable. That was go out of business in about six months. So uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't an option to me. Today, Transurban is the darling of the yield-hungry market in Australia. It's now uh, going along very nicely. But it took a lot of resilience to sort of get that idea through. Luckily today, um, on the way up, uh, as the, there were a lot of frustrations. You know, you have a good idea and it gets suppressed. Luckily today, I can get to call some shots. Not, not a lot, but some. But I still have a lot of empathy for those that are bringing the ideas through. People at the top of the organisations are very time poor. So when you get the chance to present, make sure you make the most of it. Make sure it's punchy, get their attention, frame it in their language and, and uh, give them a context for how they can think about it. And if, particularly if it's something that's going to go through to the board, think about how they're going to present it to the board or you're all going to present it to the board on their behalf. Senior executives have a lot of information pass over their desks. What's going to make your stuff stand out? So um, I've got an example here of some communication that sort of wouldn't really float my boat um, in terms of getting me excited about something. I'll just read a very brief part of it. I don't think I've got time to read a lot. By following a standard set of principles when valuing initiatives, it is possible to ensure consistency across the group while leaving appropriate flexibility for the many unique initiatives proposed and assessed. Now, that's half of what I had here in the, in the text, but, uh, but by now, I'm thinking, you know, where's the money going to come from in this process? <laughs> the underlying facts are fine, the statement's fine, no worries at all about that. But tell me up front that you're going to deliver me some value. So, when you take centre stage, keep it simple, size the prize, show how we're going to measure success, be confident about who you're going to deliver, your game plan, your timing, sooner is always better than later, and show how you're going to be accountable for delivery and how you will keep us all, all informed. And make sure you get people interested. Sell them a bit of sizzle, but just be careful you don't do too much. <laughs> keep your presentation short and compelling. That's good advice for all of us. <laughs> uh, and and recognise the most important part is Q&A. That's where the deal act is actually sealed. So be ready for it. It's where your conviction and rationale are going to be tested and where you win the day. If you're presenting to me, I'd be asking, OK, what is the prize? How come we haven't been able to capture it before? What's different? How long is it going to take? Can it be quicker? What resources are going to be required? How are we going to measure success? What help do you need to get it done? Do you need me to do anything? Uh, and once we're through all that, it's really just get on and get it done. So, but some important things to remember. Very few people will ever, ever kill it. They'll never take the risk of absolutely killing it. So get that, find that one person that needs to support. And the longer the time, if it's going to take a long time, it better be a big prize. So people are going to lose patience. In my parlance, I like to think about cash. And I like people to think about cash generally. Pretty well all business decisions end up being measured in cash or cash equivalents. So show them the cash. You're always going to have naysayers. I don't think any political election is ever won with 100%, absent perhaps Zimbabwe maybe. Or... But there are very few unanimous decisions in business life also. You're always going to have people who disagree with some direction. The important thing here is to sustain your sponsors. Keep proving your point with data and delivery. One of my favourite mafia movie lines, and I'm a big fan of mafia movies, is keep your friends close but your enemies closer. <laughs> This resonates here in my view. You'll be amazed at how your dissenters 
will see the wisdom of your ways as you start to get some runs on the board. And you build a coalition of the willing and the winning. At the risk of overdoing the cliches, failure is an orphan, but success has many fathers. You'll have a lot of sponsors by the time you've got success.